I'm not hugely comfortable on stage. I, I love being in the studio and I love writing. Um, and I, growing up, never thought that I'd be in a band. Um, so I never really like thought about it or fantasized about it. Um, so when we, when our first album was quite successful, like it was a big surprise to everyone, including us. But, you know, we'd also started from the very bottom, you know, putting songs out online and, and driving up and down the UK in a car that we borrowed from our friend's mum, you know, sleeping on floors and playing in tiny pubs and toilet venues and stuff like that. So um, we sort of grafted like from the bottom up um, and I had to just learn how to be a front man because I didn't, I didn't really know and I hadn't thought about it. Um, and so it became for me about distracting myself a lot and, and trying to jump into the crowd. Like I don't, as someone that goes to gigs, like I don't love that separation between band and audience. So I was like, what can I do to break that down? Go in the crowd as much as possible, dance around, climb up on things, fall over. Like, you know, I, uh, I'm not a particularly slick or elegant front man. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess I, you do have to go somewhere else. For me, it's, you know, it's, I get, I can get really anxious on stage and I get really nervous. And, and sometimes when, sometimes when I'm having, you know, panicking a bit, um, I go like pitch deaf and I can't hear, I can hear noise, but I can't hear like myself in the context of other, of the other instruments, which is a fucking nightmare because <laughs> like, obviously the one thing you want to be able to do when you're standing up in front of those people is to like, feel good about what you're doing. Um, but I have to like weigh that up with how lucky I am to be able to do this and, and you know how amazing it is to get to go to different cities and countries and play to people who love our music. Like that's such an insane privilege. So it's just, yeah, I guess for me, live shows, like some people like feed off it and they love the, like the attention and the energy. And for me, it's just quite surreal. You know, it's kind of like, I guess survival instinct kicks in of like, can I, I need to get through this and do it well. Um, sometimes I'll completely lose myself in it and have an amazing show. And, you know, when you feel like you're like almost at one with the audience and that's great. But um, it's not every time for me. So it's a bit it's a bit of a, like a roulette when I go out mm. on stage. I, I never quite know if it's going to be great or if it's going to be fucking awful. Um, and I don't mean the crowd. I mean, I mean, sure, me. sure, sure. Yeah. So, yeah, it's interesting. I, I guess I guess we toured nonstop for like seven years since our first album came out. And um, we planned to stop in March 2020. Like we planned to have a break. Um, obviously, everyone in different ways had a break from their lives um and that's you know so it's been two years we've done some gigs like some with orchestras some normally um but we're about to go on tour in a few weeks for the first time in a, like proper proper tour and it'll be interesting you know i think as a music fan i love the idea of going to gigs and you know i'm so excited to be back in rooms listening to live music but um it's going to be interesting to see see what it's like <laughs>